Carbon, Victor Brick Jacobs, to Honey Jones. We love him already. Uh, Next hour, we're going to get Come rid on. of the NL West and the AL East. Just bang. Goodbye. Get, get rid of Honey Jones. The Honey Jones walked in here and called me an old man. What? So I'm going to take a five hour energy. Tell Boom. Them. And um, I'm going to actually steal one. No, they don't beat. steal. You can buy it. No calories, no press. It gives you a lot of energy. So, Dahani, uh, University of Michigan. The um, University. Rocket. Were you a Rick? Did you go to Rick's a lot? Went to Rick's. Went everywhere. Do you have those test tube drinks they, they, <laughs> they serve you down there? Um, There's a lot of drinks. Uh, you want me to tell you a story about Rick's? Sure. So, this is probably the first year I ever started drinking. I tried this uh, drink, you know, this 151. Yeah, that's yeah, what I did. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, oh, you know, the overproof, overproof, right? And everybody, I saw this movie, you know, where people would light it and then all of a sudden they would drink it, but I forgot that you were supposed to blow it out before you started drinking it. <laughs> oh you and Richard Pryor. So, yes. so I, I, I took a shot, I lit it on fire, and I drank it. I like singed all the hair on my face. No, they have actually that's terrible. Drank the flames. I drank the flame. It's crazy. Well, Can they call them. They call them. Well, I don't drink anymore, but I did when I was there, and and. They call them uh, buzzes, I think, and, and you put a piece of fruit on the top, mm -hmm. and you light it, and the, the citrus from the fruit sinks down into the drink. How much do you hate Ohio State, and how much do you love what's going on there now? Oh, I'm so excited right now about Michigan. So excited. I, mean, I don't even reference that other school, just because I know that they're back where they need to Hold on, hold on. Before we go any further with this, Tahani, yep. uh, Drew I'm Rosenhaus, who is now excited. taking over with Terrell Pryor. Why all of a sudden does Drew Rosenhaus always involve himself into the most controversial oh, no, no. thing that happens You've right now? You've got to Why hear Drew on this one. This is classic, because in his conversation about Pryor, he, he mentions a guy you've played with the last few years. Today. In the middle of his workout, he came over to me and he said, Are you serious, Drew? They're talking about him not being a quarterback? He is as good as any quarterback I've played with. There you, you go. Oh, that ain't marketing say that? genius. I don't know what is. <laughs> Why? Well, he's going to get so many Twitter followers. He's a fresh client. He's a fresh client. Well, he's giving him love. What a Michigan alum. I mean, well, what do Michigan alums does really, well. What do Michigan alums really think of this, though? Do you, do you, is there any part of you that has a sense of sadness for uh, the Ohio State University. No, there's University. no sadness for the, okay. the Ohio State University. I mean, there's no sadness at all. If anything, it just brings a little bit of shame to the Big Ten and what we represent because we feel as though we are the best conference. And Michigan has done nothing but to substantiate its greatness. Uh, except what, in the, the Rich Rodriguez. Since 1831, Michigan. I mean, Michigan goes way back. 1817. 17. Yeah, thank get you. it right. Thank you. Yeah, but you'd like to erase the last three years of the Rich Rodriguez era. Now, Brady Hoke, I, I believe, is going to yeah, do a great a cool job there. Rich. Uh, what happened there? Did, did he alienate some of the alums as well? He, I think he just wanted to do it his way. He wanted to be a little bit different. And Michigan is the program that it's Michigan first. Right. Then it's the coach. It's big. It's, it's never it, this Michigan is a self-contained entity and you can never think that you're greater than that university itself. So I don't think he necessarily embraced what was Michigan? I mean, I remember there was a USA Today article and it, and he was quoted as saying, if they wanted a Michigan man, then they wouldn't have hired me. And I knew from that moment on that things would start to go downhill. But when they brought back Brady Hoke, that's the way exactly. Michigan has always been. Brady Hoke is involved with his players, involved with the fans, involved with the community, involved with the staff. He allows everybody to embrace the team as it should be. And by the way, your your former coach, Lloyd Carr, gets elected to the College Football Hall of Fame. Congrats. I love First Lloyd time Carr. on the ballot. I mean, this guy got booted, booted by, <laughs> out of Michigan. Boy, how much would they love to have him or the likes of him back? Well, I think that's what Brady Hope brings to the table. I mean, he was there at the same time Lloyd Carr was, and he yeah. takes some of the teachings that Lloyd Carr had, but... Brady Hoke brings his own energy, his own passion, his own power, and I think the guys are traditionally, they're, they're going to buy into that. We're talking to Dahani Jones, who, along with everything else, has written a book called The Sportsman. The Sportsman. It's really about... Uh, are you really going to come to my signing tonight at Book Soup? I might stop by, if I, but because I, I, I go to Book Soup once a week, and I, and I love it there. They have good signings. Well, come hang out with me. Come hang out with me. You know, and by the way, the Book Soup has... Probably the greatest selection of books that I like to read. Really? Yeah. That's, Do they have my kind of books? Uh, no. All uh, stats, no, no, no pictures. He's never really <laughs> read a real book. What do, what do you want people to walk away with from your book? I want people to walk away with the fact that they don't want to walk away with the book. By the way, want to well, I want them to walk away with the book, but I also yeah. want them to walk away with the understanding that it's a beautiful world out there. Um, you know, a lot of people spend their own time with their own city and their own state and their own country. Travel. 
get out. I mean, I've been to over 65 different countries. Well, wait a second. Vic is that guy. I mean, it will change your entire life. It will yes, change it your basic structure of who you are, your, your perspective, everything. Dahani, th this journey you went on to 20 nations, there's so much incredible enlightenment that you embrace because I feel it because it's an old samurai maxim that a samurai master reveals his artistry in every act he does and I feel that in you my brother that you have picked up an incredible an emptiness and an openness as well a total yin and yang in your travels in all of your seeking what did you find and again if you don't find it all it's right. not so bad I think the most important thing you learn and that you realize is that people are people period as you travel, it doesn't matter if you're going to Cambodia, Thailand, Switzerland, Singapore, Spain, Brazil, Ireland. Mexico City, Ireland, wherever you go, people are people. We all look different, we all have different idiosyncrasies, but at the core of who we are, we are people. And how important was it to Honey on your journey to be open to all the Oh, vibrations? I think it's most important. I mean, a lot of people travel and they have these stereotypes, this propaganda right. that's right in front of them as right. soon as they walk into uh, the terminal through passport control and all of a sudden end up on the other side. They have these prejudgments. You have to walk into it with a sense of clarity, a sense of openness. Adventure. Too. Adventure. Because people are people are different, but at the same time, they want you to get to know them and the culture and the, and where they come from. Because then it will help you understand not only them, but it'll also help you understand well, So you. which people were the most open to you as you walked into Irish, a new probably. place? The Irish? Come on, the Irish are like, who's this guy? Yeah. The Swiss, they're like, who's this guy? The Aussie, they're like, who's this guy? The, yeah. ne the Nepalese? Was it the Nepalese? Where was there never an awkward moment, just open like you had lived your whole life there? Never awkward moment? I mean, Thailand, it was, it was that way. Mm-hmm. Um, really, when I went back to Senegal, I mean, I say went back because I feel as though I, I have some roots there. See, yeah, yeah, that's what it's um, good. When I went back, I could breathe the air, I could relate to the people. Um, you know, that was, ne there was never an awkward moment there. So there, 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 there was an awkward moment because I didn't know Wolof. <laughs> so <I> couldn't necessarily <laughs> But you that. felt like you were at home even though you had never been there. Yeah, but, I, you know, the, the interesting thing is, it's easy to say Senegal, but, you know, when I was in New Zealand, that was the most beautiful country. Yeah, I mean, down there. Every yeah. single aspect, every single aspect of every other great country, whether it be the beach, whether it be the highlands of Scotland, the open the, pastures the of fields, Ireland, the, the water, water, everything, yeah. the water beautiful. Down there. The, the water, water down there is yeah. amazing. Hey, I want to ask you. Yeah. And there's nothing you. poisonous, by the way. No, no a couple. And then you go over to Australia, and then everything's poisonous. Yeah, it's well, crazy. Um, what do you think of this whole Mark Cuban thing about not giving rings? He's going to give houses, man. or he's going to give equity well, know, to the next but, company. If you're playing for a ring your whole life, <laughs> wouldn't would you want a ring? You know what? Mark Cuban has always done things a little bit different, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's something that, you know, he's never done anything that nobody ever turned around and said, you know, that was a bad idea, because he's been a pretty successful guy, so I think... If he handed mind, you a watch instead of a ring, would you be upset? I wouldn't be upset. He's so an Audemars Piguet like that. Yeah, you know? I like that. Well, yeah. about, if watch, if he, your wrist. Oh, watch your wrist. Watch your wrist. Watch your wrist. Well, how about a, ma a magic wand? Gold encrusted. By the way, how about just a cup? Hey, Donnie, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I want equity. By the way, I want equity. This Don't week go. on Fox Saturday Baseball Interleague Play Returns, Yankees are going to Wrigley to take on the Cubs. This week's telecast of Fox Saturday Baseball presented by Sprint begins 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Check your local listings for the game and start time in your area. And don't forget the MLB All-Star Game live from Phoenix. That's Tuesday, July 12th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, only on Fox. Donnie Jones is joining us. He is a loose cannon. And guys, coming up, we're going to find out who is actually sticking up for LeBron James. We'll get Donnie's thoughts as well. Who's in his corner? You're going to find out coming up next.